Thanks for purchasing your new Mila C3 from Performance Vacuums. All of our contact information will be in the description below if you have any questions about anything in this video. We're going to be talking about your brand new Mila C3 canister. We're going to cover the power nozzle in itself in its own video. This is only going to be about the body of the vacuum. Now there are two major styles of Mila C3 that we get in the United States. We get one with the power button and the suction controls on the base of the machine. We get one with a power button, no suction controls on the machine themselves. Those have been relocated to the hose. This could say home care, brilliant, or the older S8 would say UniQ or unique. Let's go over the basic controls of the brilliant and then we'll go to the more basic models. Let's start with the base of the canister. There is an on button right here and that puts the machine into standby mode. You'll probably press that once and never touch it again. Everything on this machine you'll be doing from your fingertips, your on off, your brush roller hard floor switch, and your suction control. Now typically the suction control, you wanna leave it at max. You must leave it at max if you're using an electric power nozzle. Now, if you're cleaning hard floor, you can leave it on the auto setting or the ear setting, which is the lowest you can set the machine. It will still pick up off the hard floor. And that's to be used with a 12 inch switchable nozzle only. Using the larger nozzle, the machine will not have enough power if left on auto. Again, you want to use it on maximum. When using the dusting brush is when it's most appropriate to turn the machine down to its minimum setting. The machine has a parking space in the rear, and if the machine is on and you set a floor tool in the parking space, it will shut off, and then you can resume using your hand controls. On the body of the machine, there is a button that will say reset. This is not a reset for the machine. This is a filter check light. This will glow orange after 60 hours of service to remind you to change the HEPA filter. I'll show you where that is a little later in the video. There is a full bag check indicator right here. It is not a light. It's going to work progressively like a gas gauge. Sometimes at a higher altitude like we have in Colorado, they need to be adjusted, particularly when you get above 7,000 feet. On the body of the machine, we have an on off button. Right there. These are designed all to be hit with your foot you're not gonna harm anything by standing on it. We'll bring it from minimum to maximum. I recommend using maximum when picking up off floor and most duties with the cleaner. The ear setting is the lowest you can set it and it will still pick up off hard floor. I recommend using the minimum setting or the sofa setting for dusting. On more basic machines, all you get is an on and off button here. And this turns the carpet agitator on. That switch is to switch between bare floor and hard floor. You will also want to readjust your nozzle when going to hard floor. There is a button right here, and that opens your tool lid. You can close the tool lid just by pushing on it. Inside, you're going to find your upholstery tool, your crevice tool, and your dusting brush. Your dusting brush does rotate. Again, you want to use this on a lower setting of the vacuum. Otherwise, it will destroy the bristles. There's a nice rubber guard around this so it doesn't scratch anything. However, if you try to put anything back wrong, the lid is not going to shut. So understand all tools must be inserted correctly for this lid to shut. Inside, you have a lever right here in the lid open up and the first thing you're going to be greeted with is your bag and you may have noticed your bag is not attached now you must always resettle the bag every time this lid is open one of the features of the c3 is when we open the bag it ejects the bag it does not always eject it fully but it will eject the bag this bag should be stuffed like a pillow when it's full you'll notice the bag has some fuzzies. Those fuzzies are going to get caught in this filter down here. So to get to this filter, we're just gonna pull down and back on this tab. 
and you'll see the filter is white and those fuzzies, well, they don't really stand out. Change this filter for every four vacuum bags. This filter is included with the vacuum bags and you will need to cut it to size. It will be marked S8 or S8000, the line you need to cut, or Mila C3. Bag type is indicated as type N and by the blue color, and they're sold as GN. Those are both the same style. Reinsert the bag. The arrows will line up with the arrows in the bag dock. The exhaust filter here comes out where you see the arrow and the rubber, like so. This filter is good for 60 hours of service, which typically is a year's worth of service, and can be purchased in a combination with the bags if desired. You have a strip on here that when you press this play button hard, it's not gonna click or anything like that, it's just gonna happen. This will turn red and say the word replace when it needs to be changed. As the HEPA filter ages after pressing the play button, the words replace will fully appear when it needs to be replaced, at least in a year's time. Sometimes with heavy use, they need to be changed sooner. You'll see this is light gray and will start to discolor versus a new filter. This one's about ready to be changed. This is what a new filter should look like. If you feel that you don't need HEPA filtration and do not have allergies or asthma, you can put a charcoal filter for odors or their basic air clean filter, which comes with the vacuum bags and looks like this. You will need to purchase an additional grill to install the air clean filter. It's a one-time purchase and then these will come with your vacuum bag. You are using one or the other in this cleaner. Do not attempt to use both. It will shorten the life of your Mila dramatically. To replace the filter, line these tabs, push on both sides, and the filter is now inserted. If you have a premium model, you want to hit the reset button now as well. Those are all the maintenance items in this chamber. Remember to reseat your bag always before closing the lid. If you feel you are a hard user on the machine, I recommend getting some colored tape and marking the end of the cord rewind, maybe about a foot from the end so you don't over pull your cord reel. Solid device for any vacuum cleaner. Three has a one touch cord rewind, which means you touch it once and it will retract. Your Mila C3 is equipped with parking on each side for hard floor tools. The wand will stay steady as you carry the machine up the stairs like that as well. Make sure at least monthly you cut any hair off the roller. Ask us about our hair cutter. All you have to do is cut along the line like so. We do have separate tutorials on the power nozzle. We'll link those at the end of the video along with a playlist that might be helpful. We hope this is useful in using your new Mila C3 canister. If you have any questions, our contact information will be in the description of this video. Feel free to reach out at us. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to subscribe.